Today we will check out the application of lambdas when working with t-arrays. Maybe you already have seen some of the functions that require a so-called predicate. A predicate is basically a function that returns a boolean and we can use them to do some cool things when working with the different container types we have in Unreal Engine. So for example we have this t-array. Now we want to sort it in descending order and for that we can use the sort function and provide a predicate through a lambda. When providing a lambda for the sort function, we compare two values to each other and decide if the first value, so in our case a, should be placed before the second value, so b. In our case we want to place a in front of b, if a is greater than b. And this is also what we enter as a condition for this predicate. If this is true, we place a in front of b. If that condition is false, we place b in front of a. Now if we look at the order, we can see that it works as intended. We can also use predicates to find an item that matches a certain condition. For example, let's say we want to find the highest even number. First, we have sorted the t-array in the previous step and now we evaluate if a modulo 2 is 0. Because if that is true, we know that the value is even. And as you can see, we get the highest even number in our t-array. So the first value where this condition is true will be returned by the find function. We can also remove all even numbers by using remove all and providing the same predicate. So here if the condition is true, the element will be removed from our t-array. And now as you can see we only have odd numbers left. And lastly we can also check if our t-array contains an item that satisfies a certain condition, but this time we store the result as a boolean. And obviously after removing all even numbers this condition is not met. So if you want to implement a more complex interaction with a t-array, tset or tmap, you can check if there's a function that takes the predicate and then you can provide the more complex condition as a lambda to the function. Sometimes those functions are indicated with predicate written at the end of the function name, other times it's not that obvious and the function just takes a predicate as a parameter. So also look out for those functions if needed. However, this is everything you need to know for now about using predicates to work on your containers in Unreal Engine. Like always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Otherwise, see you next time.